What's up, guys? It's your boy, Anime Boom, and I'm back for another video. And you know Jeff Hardy's my boy. I tried made a video about Jeff Hardy, but YouTube gave me, I think, a copyright claim or something on something. But really, the clip I used, it was like uh, a couple seconds. It wasn't even, I didn't go over like the number of seconds I'm supposed to use a clip. But they still gave me a copyright claim, and I was okay with it. But Jeff Hardy, Jeff Hardy's my boy. That's He's a legend. That's my dude. But... We have to start being honest. A lot of people think, uh, some people say WWE uh, was it didn't give Jeff Hardy a chance. Man, there's a group of guys Vince really messes with. It's a group of guys he will give a chance. Like he's not a hundred percent sure on them as he is on other people because you know he has his Brock Lesnar and stuff. But it's guys like he will give a chance because like man. Okay, he gives them a chance. I don't care what y'all say. CM Punk was one of those people. He gave CM Punk stuff. He gave CM Punk stuff to do. And he gave him, like, he gave him two money in the banks. Then he had, like, a multiple world titles. Then he won the WWE Championship. That man got a lot of stuff. But I think Jeff Hardy's one of those guys, too. Like, Edge, those guys are the guys that he's like, you know, I see potential in those guys. Like, they show stuff that other people don't show. Like, he don't like Matt Hardy or Christian. But Jeff Hardy and Edge, those are his guys. He sees potential. So, he gave Jeff Hardy multiple chances. He wanted to make Jeff Hardy, like, champion stuff. And wanted to make him the guy. Like, you could tell when he, uh, this most recent one in WWE, Jeff Hardy. He wanted to do stuff with Jeff Hardy. But Jeff Hardy's past, man, just kept getting in the way. It kept getting away because the last thing he did at that live show where he got uh, walked out and stuff, ran out of the building, he was facing the bloodline. I think that was setting up him versus Roman Reigns eventually happening. I think it was coming soon, but it never happened because Jeff Hardy, man, he uh they fired him because he's he just tripping. But it hurts, man, because he could have did everything. I think he would have been like one of the greatest if he would have stayed clean and not drinking and stuff like that. That really messed up his career. He had a great career. That's the good thing. At least he had a great career. Because there's other people that just are even worse than him. They just can't get their life together. But at least he had a great career. Even without even some of that stuff he could have even did. I think he would have been a multiple time WWE champion. World heavyweight champion. Would have won the World Rumble a couple times. Main event at WrestleMania. Won the money in the bank. It's stuff I could have seen him doing if he would have just stayed on a, a perfect path. But I think this is a good thing to uh, a good uh, thing to tell people. People are not perfect. People are not perfect, man. And it's okay he's not perfect. People ain't going to be perfect. Not everything is going to work out perfectly. So that's just my boy, man. Jeff Hardy's my boy. It sucks he didn't get, like, you know, the everything, but he can't always get everything, man. It's not, like I said, life is not perfect. You're not perfect. It's okay not to be perfect. Everybody has flaws, and yeah, man, just see y'all in the next video. Tell me how y'all feel about it, about uh, uh, Jeff Hardy, man, and I'll see y'all. Tell me y'all favorite Jeff Hardy moment in the comments. Tell me, uh, just tell me your favorite moment, man. I, uh, the TNA stuff was great. The WWE stuff was great. AEW, he's going to do some more stuff at AEW. He just started, but peace out, y'all. Peace.